Okay, so the replacement valve spring for my OS FS30 arrived. I actually bought two of them because I didn't really feel comfortable replacing one spring and then leaving the other. Uh, I'm not sure what caused this catastrophic failure. It seems odd that I would just lose a spring like that. I was running my home brew fuel, so the theory maybe is that it was uh, running at a much higher operating temperature, and then that just what is what caused the valve spring to fail. But so I've got a uh, boxed in 1564 wrench here and a magnet, <clears throat> and let's open up a new one of these new springs and see if it's actually going to fit. It looks like the right thing. Let's install this one first. Actually, you know what, before I do that, I need to get this piece of paper towel underneath there. It could actually be a little bit too big. Keep those spring or those valves from dropping out as I depress them. Thank God that valve spring is in, <clears> or <throat> that retainer. Holy crap, that was a lot harder than it needed to be. I'm almost real hesitant to change this one out here, but. It needs to be done. There, I did that one in less than 30 seconds, whereas the other one took me like five minutes to do. So, take that out. Valve springs replaced. Now the engine can be reassembled.
Okay, so that was the OS FS30 Surpass engine running on Cool Power 4 stroke MV with an OSF plug. This is the engine I just replaced the valve spring on minutes ago. This was its first run. I figured I'd try it with the 15% 4 stroke fuel. Seems to like it a lot. Started right away. Ran quite well. I think it hit a peak of. Well, maybe 9,900 on this. I had reset the tack once just because I wanted a little bit better reading because sometimes it gets a high reading. Nice running engine. So apparently it's fixed now. So hope you enjoyed watching.